Jaleep is Coco's line of full coverage tips. Full coverage tips are a quick long nail enhancement. They take nails from nubs to stubs in no time. But there's a little bit of a learning curve that of course, like anything else, you can overcome with practice. So in today's video, we'll be going over Jaleep full coverage tips, do's and don'ts. Welcome back to the Coco is USA channel. Coco is gel nail products are soak off, 10 free and made in Japan. If you'd like to continue learning more with us here weekly, do consider subscribing. All right, number one, do give the natural nails a diligent prep. Prep the nail thoroughly, removing all of the shine from the nail with the 100 grit size of your sponge buffer or the 180 grit board file. Increasing the grit just a tad when doing full coverage tips or extensions in general will create a tighter bond. You'll also want to dust and clean the nail plate. I highly encourage you to use both a manicure brush and a lint-free towelette. All Kogowitz products are applied without the use of a pH balancer or bonder, so all you would use to prep is a solution of minimally 98% alcohol. Don't use a super smooth buffer, but if you do, don't swing it across the natural nose super fast or you will shine the nails and your nails may pop off. The goal is to keep them matte. Be thorough here. I promise you that any speck of dust or hangnail in the way will lead to lifting if the gel touches it. And if you or the client are pickers, you will pick these types of enhancements at your earliest convenience. Number two, do pre-size all of your nails individually. Doing so will make you more efficient with your application time. Make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall. And if the natural nails have a lot of C-curve, Jaleep tips are purposely designed to be thin from about the middle to the cuticle area and so you can actually roll in a c-curve into the tip if you wanted to don't size each nail as you go as you are most likely to get frustrated and slow yourself down and you really need to remain cool calm and collected here when setting these full coverage tips too much pressure is a no-no which will come from you being frustrated but we'll talk about that in a bit number three do apply the tips two millimeters away for the best fit and most narrow application this is the official cocoa's method of applying gel leaps and the little gap left behind is infilled i do personally prefer this method especially for professional salon applications as blending requires a bit more techniques but also keeps clients from picking on the sides of the enhancement don't press the gel all the way back into the cuticle area unless the natural nails are a perfect fit or you adjust the width ever so gently with a file or you decide to roll in a slight c curve in there a few styles like almond are wider than others and will therefore require adjusting if you do indeed want to press them all the way back towards the cuticle area Number four, do wear gloves when applying. This is because when you cure, your application may require that you hold the back end of the Jaleep with your finger. And here's a word of caution. Don't touch any of the exposed gel with your bare fingers as continuous exposure to uncured gel, including the tacky layer after its cure, can lead to product allergies and or sensitivities. Number five, do scrub the inside of the Jaleep with 90% alcohol. This will remove any oils from handling and minimally make the surface a bit more matte. Do not scrub the inside of the nails aggressively with either alcohol or acetone or even non-acid bonder. The tips are already pre-edged, so you don't want to smooth the inside by scrubbing too hard. Number six, do apply the tip by holding it at the base of the nail. This will ensure the cuticle area remains thin, and after five seconds of holding the cure, you can gently tap the free edge to bring the gel down. By applying this way, not only do you keep the cuticle area thin, but you also can manage the nail tip better and keep it from turning into a hook or claw nail. Don't press the free edge in first as you will cause gel to seep out on the side walls and under the free edge. I do find it harder to control this way also. Another thing is that you'll also be left without a hand if you need a spare one to reach for something as you're holding the cure. Number seven, do you use sufficient gel to apply? The biggest mistake we make when applying full coverage chips is that we don't use enough gel and so we counter this error by adding a bunch of pressure instead, which in return does not yield a proper adhesion. Don't use too little gel or you will not have enough gel for the nails to adhere and don't use a lot of gel on the other hand or you will have a lot of overflow and end up with a serious gap in between the natural nail and the tip. Number eight, do use a high power unit to give your application a full cure. I will opt for a lens your cure also like 60 seconds as the light has to penetrate through the plastic don't just finish your application with your portable unit or a flash cure a proper cure consists of power from the light emission and the length of the cure if you are experiencing popping off of the tip from the gel on the natural nail this could be the culprit by the way Leaving uncured or semi-cured gel behind on the natural nail or skin will lead to sensitivities in the future. So keep that in mind. 
Number nine, do blend and remove the shine from the plastic nail prior to overlaying. Do not leave any part of the nail tip with shine. Gel does not adhere at its best when it's applied on a shiny surface. And number 10, do adhere with Mega Stick Base. MSB is true to its name and has the highest adhesion component within the Coco's line. If you're looking for three plus weeks of wear, this is the option to go for. Don't use Excel Builder to adhere. Depending on the client in your application, Bonding Duo may give you an okay adhesion if you use it as a gel to adhere. I recommend you use it to overlay in state. And just bear in mind that you do not have to use a big amount of gel to overlay your tips once they're applied as the structure comes indeed from the plastic tip itself. This is very important for you to know. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And we hope to see you next week again for more Japanese shell nail topics using Coco S.